So what's up you guys? How's everybody doing? Um, I just want to say something before I continue. I did realize that I think two of my videos are on private and they're not supposed to be. So they will be changed because one of them pertains to what I'm doing now. And it has part numbers in it that I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to want to see. So I'm going to make sure that it is fixed. So that way um, it's not a problem. Everybody can watch my videos and all that stuff. But um, this video will be kind of quick and dry uh just gonna get to the point um i replaced both of these hoses already i made another video where i only replaced this one but there's no reason for me to make a video about that so um both both of these fitting both of these hoses and both of the fittings up there are both brand new uh they're all general motors parts there's no dormin there are no dormin parts on this vehicle that i have replaced um my uh Wheel hubs are uh, made by Timken. My, uh, all my front suspension is Moog. Um, the idler arm, pitman arm, all that stuff is Moog. The spark plugs are AC Delco. The spark plug wires that I have are AC Delco. These parts are all General Motors. Um, the, I mean, the headlights and the fog lights, those are Amazon, but, you know, I uh, really haven't had any issues out of them so far, but Dormans, I know for a fact, have people have had issues with. If anybody watches uh, the Southman Auto channel, uh, Eric O, you hear him talk about Dorman quite a lot and how he doesn't like Dorman, but he doesn't like Chevrolet either. So, um, but so with that being said, um, like I said, both of them are brand new. Uh, there's the part number for one of them. It's that one five seven nine two eight two two. It's this number right here. Uh, but like I said, the other video does have them on there, so you will see everything I bought. You'll see the part numbers. You'll see who I bought them from on Amazon, all that stuff. So that way, if for some reason you guys want to buy the same ones, you're more than welcome to do that. Here in the future, um, I've been weighing my options. Uh, on whether I should pull this engine out and do a fresh rebuild on it or do a rebuild on it period um, Because I want to put a cam in it and I want to put heads on it and stuff like that but uh, I only want to put heads on it because these have the uh, Problem with some of the exhaust manifold bolts broken off inside them And I don't want to have to deal with having to drill them out and stuff like that they're uh, you know, it's it's more trouble than I want to deal with. Uh, I have to take the heads off anyways to replace the lifters. It's not a necessity, but I would rather do that than risk putting one of those wooden dowels in them that people use and me breaking the dowel off inside the engine for some reason and it gets stuck. So I would just take them off. And plus, never hurts to do head gaskets, especially since my Tahoe has 238,000 miles on it. So, uh, what I've been wanting to do is either take this engine out or take this to somebody or excuse me, and have the engine completely rebuilt. Uh, you know, spark plugs, well, obviously not spark plugs, but pistons, rings, uh, have the crankshaft looked at, new rod bearings, uh, everything, have it decked, have the heads ported, stuff like that. But... <clears throat> The other option is I can buy a remanufactured engine from uh, Powertrain Products, I think is what the name is. And for one, that engine will already be nice and clean and already have new parts in it. Uh, and I would already have it to where I could put a cam in it. It would already be off the vehicle. Wouldn't have to deal with anything like that. I could buy a set of heads, already put those on there. Um, it would be nice and clean. I could paint stuff if I need to. I could already paint the engine if I needed to do it. Uh, and wouldn't have to worry about rear main seal, wouldn't have to worry about the uh, crank, uh, crank, the uh, crankshaft seal. Well, that's what I meant to say. Uh, I wouldn't have to worry about any of that stuff for a while. Um, the rear main on this is actually leaking, so I was supposedly told it was replaced, but I have a feeling it wasn't replaced at the very, uh, it wasn't replaced correctly. Um, just like there's a lot of shit on this that were replaced, but for some reason they're leaking. Like the water pump, you can see it looks brand new. Uh, well, I can't see, so I don't know if y'all can see. Uh, the water pump does look fairly new compared to everything else. So, 
I don't know why it's leaking. So maybe somebody didn't do their job, didn't do a very good job at all. I know that the previous owners did not do their uh, proper maintenance. Like they didn't replace stuff that needed to be replaced. They did, you know, half-ass work. They got some country bumpkin to paint the vehicle and they did a shitty job doing that. So it just goes to show that you may think that people are telling you the truth and they're not. So, but it needs a lot of stuff. Like the inside's trashed because of kids and people not cleaning and not giving a shit about their car. That really bugs me. But, uh, yeah, uh, the engine will be either rebuilt or replaced. And then this engine will either be sold to somebody or whatever. Uh, the transmission will be either rebuilt or replaced as well. I probably just want to replace it completely with an upgraded unit from uh, Gearstar. Um, or somebody like that that builds really nice uh, 4L60s. Um, I'm not going to buy one from Monster Transmission. I was originally going to, but I've seen a lot of bad reviews on their transmissions. Uh, I've seen a lot of people say that they don't work, they don't last like they're supposed to. Um, and I have a I have a power number in mind that I'd like to reach. Uh, I, did, I did think, excuse me, I did think about putting a turbo kit on this because there are a couple companies that make twin turbo kits for these. I mean, they're for the Silverados, but this is no different than a Silverado. So, and I do want to put long tubes on it, but if I put a turbo kit on it at the gates, put the long tubes on it because you can't have both. So, um, but yeah, so we'll see. I'll, get, I'll definitely keep everybody updated that wants to see, but like I said, main reason of the video was these two lines are, are brand new. Those two fittings are brand new. Both of the lines uh, connect. I can't see. They connect right there. Both of them go right there. The new one that I replaced today is right here. The other one I replaced the other day is right there. This is the one on the right. This is the one on the left. Right, left. So there you go. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video that's not really much for me to show i'm not really gonna there's a lot of things i'm not gonna show how to replace because there's already videos about it like for example doing that stuff there's videos on that wheel bearings headlights all that stuff there's videos on that for this the uh silverado sierras it's the same for every single one of them but other than that that's all i got for y'all today so i will see you guys later